Hello everyone. Um, this is this is Hakeem Johnson, uh, founder and lead announcer for Anime Championship Wrestling, as all of you know. Um, this is probably one of the most, if not the most toughest recordings I've ever done. For as much as I've been a part of this community. So please bear with me if I ramble here and there. Or if I feel like I can't get all my thoughts and emotions together. It's um, it's surreal. As many of you all know. As news has spread on this morning, on June 8th, 2021, um, we've lost a giant in CAW. In CAW. Um, the great Eddie Mack uh, has unfortunately passed away. And it just feels like a black hole's been punctured into this community. From all spectrums of CAW, it feels like this hobby has just gotten a little darker. As we've lost one of our friends, one of our brothers, one of our co-workers, one of the best people you could ever meet in this community. I don't even know exactly any words that I could truly say that will even do any justice to his legacy and what he's contributed to not just this lake, to this community, not just to this hobby, but to everybody that was involved in it. I can't even fathom and tell you how many people he's touched and worked with for the years he's been a part of this. And as I'm sitting here trying to collect my thoughts, trying to keep somewhat of my emotions in check, I'm still looking at my white wall in despair and delusion that any that any that any that any that that any ain't with us. I got the news last night when um, I was working on some production for High Voltage and I was basically wrapping up the night getting ready to go to sleep. Um, then I got then I got a DM on Twitter from my good friend uh, downtown Jason Brown and I saw the preview of that message and it said Eddie was gone dot 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 but I thought you know I need to click the message it probably has a lot of full context maybe Eddie's gone out of town or maybe Eddie has gone out of CAW early or Eddie just is going to be radio silent on social media until he handles what he needs to handle. I needed to click that because I didn't want that on my head as I go to sleep. 
And then I open it and that's all it said. Eddie was gone. And it felt like a dagger just was stabbed through your heart. It felt like you couldn't even breathe any air. Like it felt like you couldn't swallow that lump in your throat. I just felt sick, you know? I was just denying it. No fucking way. He's not gone, gone. I, um, I was able to talk with some of the people that Eddie has inspired, touched, and helped along the way in this community last night. And it just, it's so heartbreaking. that we lose somebody like this guy, like this man, like this legend of his magnitude. Because as everybody knows, you know, his league, Call Champions League, CCL, were basically entering their final season, I believe this year. And uh, he was really excited about that. He really wanted to see the season finally cross that finish line because you know people that have been here for so long in CAW one of the things they love to be able to say is that they were able to finish what they wanted to do with CAW under their own terms and be there to really take into account the accomplishments and the moments and the inspirations and the collaborations and the contributions that they've made in in the in the profession and you know, as me, I'm sure anyone that's listening to this video, people that have known and been friends with Eddie for so long, you know, I myself was a fan of CCL. You know, I, th I even recall during the newscast I did before that, like, CCL was that league that motivated me to adapt with the current changes of CAW at the time. I was infatuated with their production value, the way they presented themselves as a league, Eddie Mack being a commanding lead announcer, one of the greatest announcers in CC CAW history, bar none. And it motivated me, me, you know, Someone, that, someone that's been doing this since 2006 it made, motivated me as someone that wants to learn from the new leagues at the time that were coming up it made me want to change with them and made me want to learn more with them and I will always be indebted to, to Eddie Mack for that if you've ever talked with Eddie if you ever did commentary with Eddie if you've ever shoot the shit with Eddie, you know, if you ever talked to him through Discord or Twitter, or if you voice chatted with him, Skyped him, what have you, however you did so, dude was such a gentle soul, man, in, in, in CAW, there's a lot of good people and bad people in it, we all know that, but I can honestly tell you that Eddie is one of those people that he was so good of a kindred soul. He was so approachable that even at times when it felt like maybe something wasn't going right with the show or something wasn't going right with audio or commentary, he'd find the optimistic view to just relax and let's just try again. Or let's pick up from where we left off. It's not that serious. He's somebody that, although he loved CAW and CCL and the people that he worked with and the things that he was creating, he also knew that 
at the end of the day, this is just a hobby for all of us. And our real lives should never take a backseat to it. And that we should enjoy the lives that we live and the lives that we experience. And that if we ever feel down or if we ever needed any help or if we ever need any guidance or any assist or if we felt weak on our own, he's somebody that was willing to lend a hand or lend a shoulder and say, it's going to be okay, man. This loss is going to hurt a lot of us. And I um I'm still sitting here thinking and hoping that, you know, Eddie's gonna drop a you know, a video clip on his CCL channel explaining that, you know, I was kidding, I was fucking with y'all or something of that nature I only I wish <sighs> I cried when news broke at this last night and I know that the tears are gonna continue to flow as we try to move forward through all of this from a lot of us But I don't want it to be where we just continue to grieve. Because Eddie was such a positive influence into this community and the people that he knew. That I do also want to relish and reminisce on the positives and the good memories he brought. You know, I, I respected Eddie so much, you know... He was, I believe he was the first person that I contacted to help me out with commentary for the Element Tournament last season for ACW. That's how much respect I have for him because I just love the way Eddie used to do things of that nature. And because I know he can control a room. He can control a team. He is exceptional at the work he committed to do. He was very great at giving others a shot when they probably felt they weren't adequate to do it. When they probably felt that they have no business commentating with him. And he wasn't one of these people where, you know, he would big lead you and think that he's better than you because he's been longer in the community than you have. Nah. Nah. You could have been a year one guy in this community and he would just be like hey I see you got a good voice or hey I see a creative you want to try a little bit something here we'll go for it I respect a man of that nature um, I, I, I remember I'm just kind of laughing a little bit, but I'm I, in the, it's in the sense that I remember uh, <laughs> as we were doing the uh, the finals of the Element Tournament, we were recording. It's in the show, too, on the direct episode of the finals, but uh, <laughs> there was this running gag where Eddie, because I had Mr. Smith, um, you know, the general manager of Excel, and <laughs> Eddie would hate <laughs> Eddie would hate Mr. Smith so much. He would hate the character of Roger Smith. He would be like, Hey, yo, Hakeem, if you're not going to do anything about it, let him come see me. He's like, hey, can you, hey, if you don't want that problem, you can come see me. It got to the point where Mr. Smith was, was presenting the new element title that I believe D-Wall had made for me specifically for that tournament. And I do thank him for that, and I can only imagine what he's going through right now. But... Um, as he was doing that, like, Eddie was just all like, oh, my God, Mr. Smith, he can come see me. That guy has no guts. Like, I ain't afraid of no Mr. Smith. To the point where I had to improvise, I'm like, sit down, Eddie. As if, like, he's, because I can visualize him getting off his seat just criticizing Mr. Smith. And I'm just trying to keep a straight-laced uh, voice about it. But internally, I'm laughing like, this dude, Eddie, is out of his mind. But it's hilarious, and I love him for it. 
Um, just stuff like that. I always had a joy commentating with Eddie. I will always be grateful for him bringing me in to commentate for the Big 100. Because I had done it with him and Champ. Because that was the the show where Edward Elric made his appearance. And, you know, <laughs> Eddie... Uh, and then the Ray Geddes promo as well on that show, too. And Eddie and Champ, they know what a Ray Geddes promo is all about. So they were expecting what he was going to say. And I'm just sitting here for the first time like, holy crap, this is awesome. <laughs> and Eddie would just uh, tell you, like, well, this is why this is the Big 100. You know, so memories like that I will always hold near and dear to my heart with Eddie. Um, I've never heard a bad thing about Eddie personally. All across the board, no matter what type of CW you were doing of virtual wrestling, you would always hear a lot of good things about Eddie and how he would be able to present CCL or how he was able to conduct himself when he was working with people. Um, and obviously by the outpouring of um, the call community here this morning and going forward, it's, it's no surprise how many people Eddie has personally helped and invested in. And this is a tragedy. I feel that it's going to take a while for us to really move forward. I, I asked the question last night at, with the people I was talking with, but um, I sat there and I was thinking to myself, when's the last time this community came together of this magnitude? Because being here for 15, 16 years, you've seen pretty much everything. And I really can't recall. Not in this age not in this social media era that we're in. I can't recall a community that has had its good and bad periods come together as a unit like this for an individual that we all love and appreciate. And that's why Eddie Mack is the greatest. That's why he should be forever immortalized. Because one day, you know, the leagues that you watch right now in CAW, they're going to be gone too. We're not going to be here actively doing CAW anymore. We're going to be able to move on from our lives doing other things. And a new bunch of creators will come in and take our spots. That's just the way the world works. But we got to keep Eddie's we got to keep Eddie's memory fresh and intact for them to understand why people talk about him so greatly. It's this is um this is surreal. I know for a lot of people, myself included, it's been a rough couple of months. It's been a hell of a rough year, quite frankly. A year and a half. And just when you think we're finally starting to see some progress and trying to move forward with certain things with our lives. God just said that he needed an angel t last night. Um, I know that there are going to be a lot of other creators and announcers and uh, founders of their leagues that will have their own statements in the next coming days. And please give them all the support you can because we're all hurting right now. It's not really just me. It's everybody. We're all hurting. Bad. Um, I was originally going to type a full-length statement, but I felt like as I was trying to type, my fingers were just in standstill. As I'm sitting here thinking, a full statement can't even do this justice. Hell, my words here on this audio recording is not even doing it justice, quite frankly. 
I'm just really here to vent and just appreciate Eddie Mac and what he did for me and this community and for everybody else that he touched. Um, for those that are new to CAW, please understand that this is a very devastating blow to a lot of us. And if I could be able to maybe tell you something, please go and, um, in particular, please go ahead and watch Eddie Mack's uh, Hall of Fame speech he did last year in the 2020 Call All Stars Hall of Fame class, which I was also a part of with him and many others, like Brandon Wolf and Amber Stevens and Mick McMichaels and all those guys. Please do your due diligence to watch that speech. Especially now, because it crystallizes everything that the man's about. Um, um, obviously, all ACW programming will be uh, halted quite frankly, until I feel like it. That's just the way it's going to be right now. No newscasts, no high voltage, no anything right now. Because CAW is really the last thing on my mind right now. I couldn't give less than a damn right now. Once I feel comfortable getting back to the swing of things, I'll let everybody know, but not right now. I can't. I, I, I literally can't. And please understand if there are other people, other creators, other leagues you follow that give you the same statement about them not doing any creating or shows at the moment, please understand that it's for the best right now. I do also want to say for my fellow creators and um, friends of CAW, Please, 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 because I repeated this a lot last night. Please, if you're not feeling well, if you're really hurt, if you're feeling down, if you're really in a state where you can't function properly like you would like to, please take some time off. I know some people have work and some people really can't get off work. I understand that. But if you're able to and you really can't perform what you need to do, through your daily normal occurrences, please call off. Take take a break. Do what you need to do to get right. Because right now we need all of you. We need all of you. I know this is hard. I know it's tough. But this is the part where we all need to stick together. It's unfortunate that it's taking this tragedy... To where we need to come together like this. But if there is a silver lining in all of this. Is that the best thing we can do for Eddie's memory. Is to finally make this community a place better. Than it was years prior. Where we can leave it better off for the next generation. The time of drama and beef is over man. Enough. We're all grown here. For all adults, we all should know better to approach situations the right way. I'm not saying you have to be friends per se, but enough is enough. It's time to squash a lot of this nonsense and finally come together as a unit. No more lip service. Because I know Eddie would have wanted it. Because Eddie's been working hard to really try to squash a lot of this nonsense that's been going on lately. Now it's our turn to do our due diligence. And make sure that we can all come together and help one another. And be there for one another. Because whether you feel like it or not, you do matter. You are important. 
You will always be loved by people that love you. Never forget that. Eddie Mac Dorsey, thank you very much. I am honored, grateful, humbled, and happy that I was able to meet you, work with you, know you, and have love for you. And I promise you, at least on my end, that in some shape, form, or fashion, I'm going to keep your legacy alive. We all have to. I love you, brother. I'll see you up there soon. But I love you. Thank you. And don't ever think that you were ever less than whatever people thought you were. You were always great and you will forever be great. But, um, yeah, um, I just wanted to, uh, speak because a lot of this is about me remembering the man and a lot of this is also me venting because I just need to find some way to get out this all out. Um. Please don't go around asking me or other people about assumptions or information that isn't verified about Eddie's passing. Please respect the sensitivity of this whole situation. Um, once there's more information available, you will find out, like we will all find out. Um, I'm not going to assume anything. I will not assume anything. It doesn't matter, quite frankly. Because we lost our friend. That's the only thing that we really know. So. Please. Let's be smart and try. To keep the memory of Eddie. Pure. And strong. And not have it be something. That completely sullies it. But um. Yeah. Um. I will, uh, I'll be around, um, if anybody needs to talk to me or anyone needs anything for me to do, I'm willing to do it, if, if I can just free up a lot of time that I can free up, I will be willing to more than likely do it, um, but this is, this is going to sting for a long while. And unfortunately, I feel like we're still going to be in the grieving part for quite a while until we really kind of get ourselves back together. But I know that Eddie, if, if there's anything to be lighthearted about, I know Eddie's up there making the angels take a lap or two. <laughs> As he's up there. <laughs> Cause who better to who better to do that than him? Uh I'm gonna I'm gonna get off this. I'm I don't wanna ramble too far that I don't need to, but uh Eddie, thank you. Thank you. And thank you. I appreciate you, I respect you, and I love you. Until then, everybody, um, stay cool, and please be well, be safe, and be kind for all of us. Thank you.